Hello my dear kids, hope you are doing well. Today we are going to do another mathematics lesson. Let's start the lesson now. Unit 6 Fractions Today we are going to do the part 1 of fractions. So kids, in our day to day life, we are using fractions a lot. When you are buying items, goods, food, we need to know about fractions. And sometimes when you are telling your age, See here in this picture, Mia is two and a half years old. And see, when you are telling the time, when the clock hands comes to 3, 6, 9, 12, 9, 30, quarter past 12, quarter to 9. So in that case also, you are using fractions. See, what has happened to this pizza? Somebody has already eaten three quarters of this pizza. There also we are using a fraction. And see this. Zach played really well in the first half of the match. See that in our normal conversations we are using fractions. So today we are going to learn some more details about fractions. Volt. What are we learning today? What is a fraction? Denominator and the numerator, half and the quarter and we are going to identify half of the objects given in the pictures and identify quarter of the objects given in the pictures. So kids, what do you mean by a fraction? Now here, can you see there is a one circle which is in yellow color. It's completely colored in yellow. Then in the second picture, you can see the same circle which is divided into two portions. And in the third picture, it's again divided into another two which means we have four parts now. So we have divided the first, first circle into half and then into quarter. So all these parts made of first unit or else from the first whole circle, full circle. So kids, fractions are a part of a whole or else it is a part of a full or else part of a unit or else a portion of a unit is called a fraction. Fraction is a part of a whole or a portion of a group. Now we are going to learn about the two terms in fractions, denominator and the numerator. See here, here I have given you a pizza. How many parts are there in this pizza? That means this pizza has been cut into eight equal pieces. So when you are making fractions, you need to have equal pieces. Cut into equal pieces, size and the shape. They are equal in their size and the shape and eaten only one piece. So if you write the eaten part as a fraction, you get 1 and 8. So you can read it as 1 eighth or else 1 over 8 or else 1 out of 8. Now can you see 1 and 8 is separated by a little line. This line is called the divisional line and the number which comes upon the divisional line on the divisional line you call it is the numerator. The number which goes down the divisional line you call that is the denominator. So kids in normal fractions which are called proper fractions numerator is smaller than the denominator. Numerator is smaller than the denominator. Such fractions are called proper fractions. But there are some instances where we get little bigger numerators while the denominator is small. In that case you call those improper fractions. You will learn about those in the coming years. Now we know the numerator and the denominator of the fractions. Here we are going to learn about the half and the quarter. Here I have a full apple which is the unit or else which is the whole. 
full one apple and that one apple the full apple is cut into two equal pieces so one piece is out of one out of one full once you cut into two parts you call one part as a half half you write half as one then two one is the numerator two is the denominator there when you are making the quarter you have to cut it again so all together in quarter you have four equal pieces so that four goes as the denominator so if you take one from that four then it is a quarter one fourth you read it as one fourth or else quarter now kids we are going to identify half of the objects given in the pictures now what do you mean by the half half is 1 down 2 numerator is 1 denominator is 2 so if you are given a set of objects now you are going to find out how many are there in a half of it see this example there are 10 butterflies all together in fully there are 10 butterflies full amount is 10 so the question is how many butterflies are there in half of 10 butterflies if you separate them into half half means how many groups you are going to separate them into two groups full and half half means two groups so then what does it mean how many butterflies are there in half of 10 butterflies let's find the answer in this see here let's divide the total number of butterflies by 2 to find the number of butterflies in a half now see kids the method the mathematical operation you are using here is division why you are finding now you you have given 10 butterflies now you are going to find how many butterflies are there in a half so half means that is once you divided that into two portions so in one portion how many butterflies are there so then that's why you are dividing it by 2 so 10 is the full amount or is the total number of butterflies you are dividing it by 2 to find the number of butterflies in a half so the answer is 5 here i have given you some similar questions let's try out those find the number of pens in half of 20 pens so all together you have 20 pens so half of it means 20 divide by 2 half means you have two equal portions so then divide in it by 2 the answer is 10 there are 10 pens in half of 20 pens find the number of marbles in half of 40 marbles 40 divide by 2 answer is 20 so whenever you are asked to find the number of objects in a half what is your method you have to divide the total number of objects by 2 now we are moving into the next part identify quarter of the objects given in the picture now kids what do you mean by the quarter quarter means 1/4 one single unit has been divided in into four equal parts so that's what you call quarter or else one fourth now see here i have given you some flowers how many flowers are there count and see there are 12 flowers so the question is you need to find how many flowers are there in quarter of 12 flowers now how to find it first of all we know 1/4 means the quarter that means it has four equal parts four equal groups so find the number of flowers in 1/4 of 12 flowers or as quarter of 12 flowers means in one group how many flowers are there then what you should do since this is a quarter where you have four equal groups 
you are going to divide the total number of objects here in this question flowers by 4. Why 4? Because here this is a quarter. Quarter means 1 fourth. So the answer is 3. See here, here I have 4 groups. In each group there are 3 flowers. Count and see whether you have 12 flowers altogether. Yes, you have. So that means kids, in one part of that you have 3 flowers. So the number of flowers in quarter of 12 flowers equals to 3. Now see, here I have given you a little table where you can recall what we have learned. Now, in the first column, I have given you different number of beads in different groups. 40, 20, 32, 36, 28. And you are going to find number of beads in half when 40 beads are there and number of beads in quarter when 40 beads are there. The first one is done for you in red color. So, when you have 40 beads with you and you are going to find the number of beads in half of it, your method is 40 divided by 2. Then there are 20 beads. When you are finding the number of beads in quarter of 40 beads, 40 divided by 4. So the answer is 10. Now try to find the other answers for the given questions. 20 beads, 32 beads, 36 beads, 28 beads. Always the method is same. You are going to divide. Number of beads in half, you are dividing by 2. Number of beads in quarter, you are dividing by 4. Now you can see another question. Let's read the question. If there are 60 mangoes in a box, find the number of mangoes in half and quarter of 60 mangoes. So in one question, you have two parts to do. The first part is saying you define the number of mangoes in half of 60 mangoes. And the second half is telling you to find the number of mangoes in quarter of 60 mangoes. But anyway, in total you have 60 mangoes with you. The full amount is, the unit amount is 60. So then, number of mangoes in a half, how to find? 60 divided by 2. The answer is 30. Then number of mangoes in quarter, 60 divided by 4. That is 15. So kids, today we have done the first part of our fraction lesson. I'll meet you again with the second part of this lesson. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.